What up, what up? This is Alpha Finks here, and you know what? I got another gameplay with Magic 2013. So this Sepulchral Strength deck, this deck just dominates. I mean, I'm winning, like, every game that I'm playing with this. The only time I don't win is if I get a bad hand, you know, where I get, like, you know, only only one mana, just like this one right here, where, you know, one swap, but I can I can toss this one back. Yeah, let's toss this back and another one. All right, so two mana. Two mana, two mana. I can do this. You know, I have a couple cards there I can play. I can kill. I got Diabolic Edict and my Emissary. But this deck right here is just just dominates. I mean, and I'm I'm noticing that a lot of the times when I'm playing, you know, who am I playing against? I'm playing against the the same deck. Now it looks like this might be the case again right here. He's got it green. Let's see if it's this one. Maybe it's the old school style green deck. I don't. I you never know. And what's that card? Nope. So he's playing as Collective Might. He's putting one one creature tokens into play. So my deck right here, I kind of switched this up. I put the Blood Artist in. You know, everybody I was playing against was using the Blood Artist. I was like, I'm going to give them a shot. And they do, you know, they help out. They, they kind of ping away at the opponent's life title, total when you can't really get at them. And, you know, they give you a couple of life here and there. So I threw them in the deck. That's how I'm running it now. I got two of them in there. And they, they help out. So let's see how it works. You know, I'll take them out if it's not working. But right now it seems to be working all right. Now I have Rancor and I have Diab Diabolic Edicts. Now, I kind of, you know, I'm just going to waste this Diabolic Edict and get rid of his 1-1 one, because one, I just want to get in there, do some damage. Eldrami's Call. So he's looking for any card in his deck now. You know, usually I wouldn't play the Diabolic Edict here, but for some reason I just feel like I just feel like dominating this kid and just going at him. So I want to get in there for the 2 damage. You know, I can also next turn I can play the Rancor and I'm going to get in for some damage, at least, you know, probably at least 2 damage as well. Or I could play my have my elder, get another guy in play, you know. And I have my Creekwood Liege. You know, I just gotta wait for him. Maelstrom Pulse could be big here because if he gets a lot of those small creatures out, I can use the Maelstrom Pulse on it and wipe them all out. Ooh, so he just drew the Hero of Bladehold. So that's a big card for him. I'm probably gonna have to use my Maelstrom Pulse on that guy because I do not want that guy. Look at that. If he attacks, you know, he puts other creatures into play, and since that is Battle Cry, it, it just hits you for a ton of damage, so I do not want to let him get through with that. It is four mana, though, so he's not going to be able to play it this turn. Let's see if he's able to get anything out here. Collective Might deck. The question is, do I play the Rancor or the Yavmaya Elder next turn? I need to draw another green mana here is what I need. Alright, so he's, is he playing anything here? No, no, no. Alright, passing the turn. So, since he's got the board open here, I'm going to toss a Rancor on this guy. He might have something to put a token into play, but I'm just going to do this anyway. I just want to swing in there for some damage. And this guy dies, you know, I can go searching for some mana. I have some bigger creatures in my hand, so it'll help out if I have the more mana now anyway. And he's got another one of those token guys. In my collective might deck, I actually don't have that card that puts the 1-1 token into play. It seems kind of like a waste, you know, one mana for a 1-1. I just, nothing special with that, you know. We like card advantage here. We don't like, you know, just basic simple cards. And like, of course, I get the Rancor back to my hand. That's why Rancor is awesome. You just keep pumping any of your guys. You can always get in there for, you know, an extra couple damage with the trample. So it's pretty sick to have that. What does he got now? What you got? What you got, man? Alright, little dude. It's only a 2-1, but he can pump out 1-1 creatures here. So, anything, you know... Any of my small guys are going to be able to pick off. Of course, I didn't draw a land there. I wanted a land so I could have played my flying dude, but... I'm going to play my Creekwood Liege. Now, this guy, he puts... You know, as long as he stays in play, I get a 3-3 creature every upkeep. Every one of my upkeeps. And... They're the you know the collective might deck doesn't have anything to get rid of that except for what is it swords to plowshares that's the only thing you can get rid of it with so he doesn't really have many many options to get rid of it that's why I put it into play if I'm playing any other deck you know I probably would have held off on that one because I wouldn't want it to die and he finally got the hero of blade hold out not gonna block don't want to lose this dude right here no way and I can just kill that blade hold guy next turn he probably thinks he's got a leg up on me here. Doesn't know I have the removal spell. Also have a Rancor I can play. Um, but I don't want to play the Rancor on the Creekwood Liege. Because I don't want to be attacking with him if he gets out any more creatures. Let's see. We've got a Strategiraz. Let me Strategiraz. Take out this dude. 
And I'm gonna put the Rancor on my Worm right now because he's got no mana open, so you can't, you know, remove it. And then somehow, you know, I lose my Rancor if it goes to the graveyard. It doesn't have something to target. And I'll just attack with this one. You know, I could have put it on there, but I don't want to do that. I want to put it on the guy that's gonna die that I can afford to just keep attacking with no matter what. That's why I put it on the other one. I know I could have got in there for more more damage, but this is how I want to play it. So now he's got a bit of mana here. Let's see if he's got any other big creatures. There's also more than one hero blade holding that deck, so. See if he can play the other ones. Little Pride Mage guy. He can sacrifice that and kill my enchantment, but it doesn't do anything because it's Rancor. I just come back to my hand. Let's see what he's doing here. He could also pop a creature out. What is this one? Guild Mage. So he can he can start putting a lot of saplings into play. But the thing is with my Creekwood Leech, he's gonna keep making guys every turn, so. You know, I'm going to be making 3-3 three, three guys. He's going to be making 1-1. One, one. So I think I have an advantage here. Let me get out my Vampire. So now anytime, you know, he plays one of those little 1-1s, one, if they start dying, uh, that guy's going to get pumped up. So that that's pretty big right here because now he's going to be, he's going to be stuck. He's not going to want to lose his guys because that's what's going to happen. All right, so he's deleting... Yeah, he, he sacrifices that to kill the Rancor, but the Rancor comes back to my hand. So it doesn't really do that much. And I can I still have one green mana open, so I can play the Rancor on my Worm here. And I played on that one instead of the Flying Creature, because I want to keep attacking with, with the Worms here. Now he did, that was a smart move by him, I guess, because, you know, he didn't take any damage on that. You know, if that's, if that's how he wanted to play it. So that was kind of smart there. I want to start killing some more creatures, get my guy pumped up a little bit. No, this guy's thinking here. He can start pumping out some little guys, but it's not really going to help him. He has to get rid of my Creekwood Liege, otherwise he's just Dunzoed. Ooh, there's the other hero blade hold. I don't think he's going to want to attack with it, with the amount of creatures I have, though. Oh, <laughs> that's a good time to, to draw go for the throat right there. Since I have enough mana, I'm going to play this guy first, and we'll see what's on the top of my deck here. Give me a little advantage. All right, so I got a land. Ooh, and another land. So now I can play either of the cards in my hand. Next turn, I'm going to draw another forest, which isn't going to really help at all. Attack with the worms, my flying guy. Just toss everybody at him. Elf Shaman. Oracle. Alright, and he's down to two life. Thinks he's still got a chance with the Hero Blade Hold, but Hero Blade Hold is done again. Took out both of them. Love how many, you know, creature removal spells I have in this deck right here. Look how many guys I got on the board, and he's the one that's got the collective might that's supposed to have all the creatures. Next turn I can attack with six guys here. And no matter what he plays, it's it's too late here. He can't he can't really get anything going. I'm just going to straight up just attack right here. Clean house right there. Now, like, Creekwood Liege is a great card. If you're playing a deck that doesn't have a lot of removal, that card is just amazing. I love playing that. Oracle always helps out, helps clear your deck out, and helps you get extra lands into play. It's always helpful, too. And there we have it. Alpha Fix wins. Got a nice little win there, guys. I'm really liking this deck. I'm, this is like my go-to deck now. Whenever I'm, I'm feeling like I'm losing too many games, go to this deck. If you guys want to check out some other gameplay, just click the link on your screen right there. I've got a cool game for you guys right there. Or you can subscribe to my channel. i got a number of other gameplays up there. So have a good one, guys. Alpha Finks, I'm out.